Hi everyone, my name is Jonah Pransky. I lead the charging business line for business applications at Nokia. Today I'm joined by Boris Drillo, who is the CTIO of Croatia Telecom. And we're gonna be talking today a little bit about 5G monetization, opportunities, and what it takes to drive a successful monetization transformation. Boris, thank you very much for joining me today. Hello, it's my pleasure. Let's start from the top line, right? The revenues, everyone wants to know, how is our industry going to drive revenue from 5G? So when it comes to revenues and 5G, uh, this is a long topic. But currently when it comes to the 5G monetization, it is mostly about traditional monetization of the mobile broadband and mobile data. It is about uh, having a faster networks and having the more capacity in the networks. In order to drive the more for more propositions, this is what is happening in the Europe. So for more data, you are going to pay. Right. And this is something which is currently driving the mobile industry, I would say across the continent. Sure. However, this is something which is going to uh, hit the ceiling sooner or later. And then the question is, what is going to be the next stage of growth or from where growth is going to come? And now we are talking about, you know, 5G capabilities, what 5G miracle can bring to the industry. Then we are talking about some enhanced B2C propositions as well as B2B propositions. Do you think that the B2B propositions are the real growth opportunities or is it going to be more on the B2C? I would say that uh, in the first stage, uh, my personal feeling that uh, it's going to be B2C. Really? Yeah. I think that uh, there is a lot of, at least in my market, and might be also the case for the Central European market, mm -hmm. but at least for my market, um, why is that? Uh, because there is a lot of hype and potential in B2B, yes. but I don't think that it is going to come sooner than B2C. Sure. Uh, use cases that could be a little bit more simple to implement, and maybe value could be uh, faster captured in the B2C world, especially when we are talking about quality of service and quality of experience. So when we are talking about 5G, then uh, all of us are thinking more about standalone 5G core yes. and network slicing and everything which goes with that, rather than non-standalone, let's say 5G enhanced 4G networks. And when it comes to that, uh, it is more about being able to serve the customers with the premium quality of service in the critical circumstances. So when you are having certain hotspots, when you are having certain events, mass events, then you can offer uh, to the certain uh, customer groups a possibility to get the bandwidth on demand or bandwidth that they need. For instance, some of the use cases are, in example, Croatia is a tourist country. We have a lot of roamers during the summer season. We are having a lot of challenges in the network during the summer season, but the network is stretched and whatever capacity you put in the network, it is easily consumed. So you can go with the propositions where you are going to have a better quality of service for certain premium subscribers or they can subscribe. What we did as an industry during the past few years, probably you are witnessing that, is digitalization of the customer journey. So yes. Now all of us are having some sort of the apps where you can manage your consumption, where you can buy the option, you can, you know, uh, configure your uh, subscription and so on and so forth. And through those apps, you will be able to basically provision additional bandwidth for yourself and then basically having a better, better mobile broadband. So if we're talking about slicing, does that have anything to do with the promise of what you mentioned was maybe deferred a little bit, the B2B business growth? Uh, 
Definitely, yes. And 5G stand alone with the uh, complete monetization, let's say, uh, ecosystem around it, is something which should be an engine to make it happen. It is definitely about going into the B2B area beyond traditional telecom linkages. And for instance, in B2B, we started almost 10 years ago to add the IT services as a part of our portfolio to enrich the services in order to lock the value of basic telecommunications. And now the question is how you can go beyond of locking the value of telecommunication in order to create the extra value on those, let's say, IT and non-traditional telco services. And this is where network slicing should fit into the picture. Right. We need to, you know, come to the use cases that are going to be in the mainstream of the of the manufacturing and of the enterprise right. world. I see. And honestly speaking, I still don't see this one happening. Therefore, I said for B2C, I see this one coming. Right. But for B2B, I see a lot of activities in the field, but and uh, and trials and talks, and we are trying to make something out of it, but still we are not there. So then let me ask you, in this kind of era of uncertainty, right, where some things are clear, right, the network requirements are clear, um, but the use cases aren't all clear yet, so in your capacity, you have to look over the, after the systems that are meant to derive value from the network, generate revenues from the network. So when you look at a vendor, what is it that you're looking for in order to make sure that you can meet all the opportunities that we know are going to come? So uh, when it comes to the vendor, it is uh, first of all understanding uh, of the industry. Um, what is a challenge for us is that we are building, uh, when it comes to the 5G and 5G monetization, we are building the capabilities for uncertain use cases. Right. Those are generic use cases, but we really don't know what is the... So we need to be able to adjust and adapt to the use cases that are going to come. And therefore, we need to build uh, systems that are powerful enough and to have the partners who are committed to this journey. So this is something which is quite important thing. Having said that, Nokia is one of the leading vendors. We selected Nokia as our partner for the online charging and this part of the 5G monetization system. And also what is important here is to have the partner who understands how to deliver those complex systems. And then also to have the partner who understands what reliable systems are all about. So we are talking about systems that need to be much more scalable in the future, that need to be much more flexible in the future and not to say some of the basic things that uh, all of the people consider as, uh, as a given, like security, for instance. So this is uh, where we are trying to find the partners who, who match our vision and who can support us in delivering this vision going forward. Yeah, well, we're very proud to have been selected. We're looking forward to working together, delivering, providing that reliability and scalability. So thanks for this very enlightening conversation. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much.